Hello my dear learners, welcome back to Learn Microbiology. Your exams are finished and now the next question which comes in your mind is what next after BSc Microbiology? So here I am coming with a new video series wherein I will discuss the different PG courses available for you. In today's video we will discuss about SPPU PG courses that is the PG courses offered by Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. Recently. Pune University has given this notification about the online entrance examination for the postgraduate courses. Before learning about the entrance examination, let's first understand the different PG courses available for you after pursuing BSc Microbiology for the academic year 2021. Let's get started with the first course that is MSc in Microbiology. So this course is offered by the Department of Microbiology with an intake capacity of 30 students. Eligibility criteria is BSc in Microbiology or BSc in Life Science with Microbiology as the subsidiary at the third year. Here is the second course, MSc Virology. This is the most well-known course of the Pune University and if you desire to do this course, it is offered by Institute of Bioinformatics and Biotechnology with intake capacity of 28 students. Eligibility criteria is BSc in Biotechnology, Botany, Chemistry, Life Science, Microbiology or Zoology. Let's go to the third course. The third course is MSc in Bioinformatics offered by Bioinformatics Center with intake capacity of 30 students. Eligibility criteria. BSc in any science subject. Number 4. MSc in Environmental Science offered by Department of Environmental Science with intake capacity of 32 students. Eligibility criteria. Student with any BSc degree is eligible for this course. Let's move on to course number 5. MSc in Health Science. This is also a very interesting course offered by the School of Health Science with intake capacity of 11 students. Eligibility criteria is BSc in Life Science, Zoology, Botany, Microbiology or Biotechnology. Moving on to the course number 6, Master of Public Health. This course is also offered by the School of Health Science with intake capacity of 20 students. Eligibility criteria is BSc in Life Science, Zoology, Biotechnology, Microbiology and Botany. Moving on to the course number 7, MSc in Zoology. If you desire to go to study Zoology, this course is offered by the Department of Zoology with intake capacity of 26 students. Eligibility criteria is the BSc in Zoology, Biotechnology, Microbiology, Life Science students can opt for this course. Moving on to the next course, course number 8 is MSc in Anthropology. Anthropology is a study of human behavior, customs and traditions. It is offered by the Department of Anthropology with intake capacity of 26 students. The eligibility criteria is graduation in any science degree. Moving on to the course number 9, MBA in Pharma Biotechnology. This course is for those students who want to do management course after your BSc degree. And this course is offered by the Department of Management Science with intake capacity of 60 students. Take a note at the eligibility criteria. You have to pass the ATMA entrance exam conducted by AIMS as well as you have to secure minimum 50% marks in aggregate in your BSc degree and you should pass your graduation before 30th September 2020. Before moving on students, I would like to all know that ATMA entrance exam forms are open till June 12th and the exam will be conducted online on June 20th. You can find the link to the entrance exam official page on my description box. So go fast and do the registration. Let's move on to the course number 10. On 10th place, you have the course MSc Computer Science. If you want to shift your stream and want to learn about computer science, this course is offered for you by Department of Computer Science with intake capacity of 30 students. 
eligibility criteria any science or engineering graduate minimum 50% marks if you are in open category or 45% marks for reserve category in your bachelor's degree and importantly you should have done mathematics at your 10 plus 2 level that is your hsc moving on to the course number 11 ms in media and communication studies if media is interesting you right now you can go for this course and which is offered by the department of media and communication studies with intake capacity of 50 students eligibility criteria bachelor's degree in any faculty from recognized university moving on to the course number 12 MA in Journalism and Mass Communication which is offered by the Department of Communication and Journalism with intake capacity of 36 students. Eligibility criteria, Bachelor degree in any faculty from recognized university. Moving on to the course number 13. Now there are few courses which you can do if you want to shift your stream. One of this is Masters in Library Science and Information Science which is offered by the Department of Library and Information Science with intake capacity of 30 students. Eligibility criteria, you have to have done a bachelor degree in any faculty from a recognized university. Moving on to the course number 14, MA in Lifelong Learning, offered by the Department of Lifelong Learning and Extension with intake capacity of 40 students. Eligibility is bachelors in any faculty from a recognized university. And the last course, course number 15 is MA in Economics. You can do this course even if you have done BSc. This course is offered by Department of Economics with intake capacity of 50 students and your eligibility criteria is bachelor's degree from any faculty from recognized university. Thanks for watching this video. Students, you might have understood that there are 15 postgraduate courses offered by the Pune University. If you want to go for postgraduate courses, you have to give entrance examination for all these courses. And in the coming video, I will discuss with you the how to fill this entrance exam form and the last date, application fee and what all to study for the entrance exam. So keep watching and share this video. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. I'll see you all in the next